back again with another video. I want to thank every one of you guys right now for watching this channel. If you're new to this channel, make sure you do two things. Like and subscribe. We are growing every single day. And thank you to you guys, man. The views are going up. The subscribers are going up. And I truly, truly appreciate every one of you guys' support. And today is going to be a great day. Today, as you guys can see, as the title says, we are definitely installing some LED lights. And I'm going to give a special shout out to JDM A-Star. Definitely, definitely reached out to me. And I'm glad for the sponsorship. So if you guys are viewing this video, thank you guys so much. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, this is my first time doing any type of installation with any LED lights, anything with lights involved. Um, it's my first time ever doing it. Um, but I'm excited to do this. And I'm happy to show you guys that have the Gen Hondas how to install your LED lights. Um, like I said, this video is sponsored by JDM A-Star. Um, they shipped my um, order here, um, so I'm glad, 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 glad I can be able to give my opinion based on um, the lights, and um, and I hope you guys are interested in ordering some of these products. Um, this is definitely, definitely a good look. So I'm gonna bring the camera closer to me, and we're gonna talk more in depth. All right, you guys. So on this one, we have the nine zero zero five. These are the NX. 10,000 lumens. Basically, lumens mean, you see it's 10,000. The lumens mean basically, um, basically the 10,000 lumens means the brightness of the lights. Usually standard lights, um, stock lights come about eight, seven to 8,000, um, but these are 10,000. So that means that the LED lights are very, very bright. Like that's like the top of the line number you want as far as LED lights go. Uh, let's open this up. And this package, oh, this. You guys can see it basically. So they gave me these interior lights, which is awesome. Give you the um, color options, which ones you wanna pick. And I could put it inside the car. So this is amazing. Thank you guys, JDM, A-Star for giving me those. So basically the location, um, they mark it off right here. This is the H11s. So I believe these are the more the top side of um, the LEDs. So you guys are gonna see how I do it. Um, this is my first time ever, ever installing any LED lights. I've never done it before. So this is my first time for all you guys that's um, trying to do this for the first time. Look at me, I'm doing this for the first time. So if you guys are discouraged, don't be discouraged. Try to learn it out. Um, it's the easy, I mean, it's not easy, but it's the best way to learn about your car and just taking a sense of pride of doing everything on your car. So, now let's see how these are, man. These are beautiful. So, I don't know everything about um, LED lights and everything, but I know with these little lines right here, where you guys can see, that's where the, um, that helps with the heat. I know that for a fact. That helps with the heat. Makes it more cooler. Um... But these are dope, and they got four LED chips. So let me show you this. Let me see if a better lighting. So if you guys can see right there, the yellow. There's four of them, four LED chips. Okay, and it's on each side. So four on this side, four on that side. I don't know if you guys can see. My garage is a little too bright. Let me open up the garage door. So these ones are the eleven. I mean, H11, so that's letting me know what location and under the hood where I need to go and work on. And these are the NX model 10,000 lumens. Like I said, this is the NX series. So if you guys are interested in this, down below the video in the description, you guys will be able to go see this in the store if you guys want to order these or you want something different. Um, these are definitely good for the Tim Gen hashbacks, um, which I have, the Honda Civic Night 2018. Go. So as you guys can see, I took the first little part off. So I gotta kind of take that part off, which is this little part. I unclamped it, and let's see. Now I think I gotta twist this one out. Yep, you twist. Let's see. There you go. Ah, so these are the original ones, as you guys can see. 
these are the original ones so I'll put the original one right here compared to the LEDs oh my gosh what a big major difference if you guys can see the big difference major major difference so that part that I took off and as you guys can see as you taking it off it tells you right here these are the 11 H and right here is the 11 H so everything is like self-explanatory um, it lets you know exactly um, what are you taking off all right so the first thing you want to do before you put it back in to um, the right correct spot you want to test it out so you want to plug this into this right here you want to plug them up and make sure they work and turn on the lights and make sure everything is like good because you if it don't turn on then that's a bad sign so let's see how it goes so I'm going to, once you see it at works you're going to push it all the way in make sure you assign the three holes so let me show you what I mean I'm going to pull it back out it's a little difficult putting it in so like I said, if you look at it, you can see the, the three corners with the black. One, two, okay, so you see one, two, three. You want to line it up with that inside there because there's one down on the bottom, two, three. So you want to line it up and push it in. So I'm going to show you how I do it. So I want to make sure everything is lined up. Let's see. Let me make sure I can see and you guys can see. So once it's lined up, you're going to push, push pressure, and you're going to twist it. You're going to twist it. Oh, you want to twist it. So you want to twist it this way. So check my hand out. So I'm going to twist to the left, and you see that it goes in. And just keep twisting it. And keep twisting it till you see it disappears. Bam. So now let's see how the LED lights look. And turn the lights on. Holy shit. It is bright. It is definitely bright. So you see the yellow light right there? And now you see the LED. Super bright. Big difference. Big difference. Holy moly. So you want to come over here. Put my phone in there. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. So we're going to take out this one, which is the um, H11. So the H11, it says right there on the blue. And what we're going to do is take it out. So the way you take it out, if you guys can see the last one, it's basically like a little click right here. You just push that down and push it. Push it down and pull. Let me see. You push down, you hear that click? I pushed it with my finger and you slide it down. And it comes off. And this is the plug. Let me see. There goes the plug right there. And all you just do with this one is you're going to twist it. Let's see. We're going to twist it to the right side. I mean, twist it to the left to loosen it. It moves. And then you just pull. Let me see with my other hand. This is kind of difficult doing it, holding the camera and doing this. And there we go. Bam. Taking out the stock, the stock light. And we're going to replace it with the second H11. Like I said, right here it says H11 right by the thumb. You're going to swap that out. And like I said, look at the difference. Look at the comparison. And this one is actually better. Like I said, you can get the airflow so we're gonna make sure you put on the top top corner right there you guys can see the three the three um the three outlines one two three and you see right here i got the one two three i want to line it up exactly how it is right here okay i got it in the plug push <clears throat> and then we're going to twist to the left keep twist i mean twist to the right Gonna keep twisting. You want to keep twisting until it's nice and tugged. It won't move no more. So 
this is the part of the car and all I'm going to do is use this LED uh, JDM All-Stars plug part I'm going to put it right in here as you guys can see just clamp it in once you hear that clamp everything is good so we're going to turn the lights on and see if this light come on if this light doesn't come on then that's not a good sign so let's try it out so turn the lights on so the LED light is on here and the LED light is on there oh my gosh it is fucking bright as shit um and the first one's done I'm mm -hmm. gonna have you go from a distance and then I'm gonna turn my lights on alright so this is what it this is just with the regular lights on. See the difference? Mm. Right. Oh yeah. You guys can't really see it right now. You can see it more in the, the um, night. So um, later on tonight when the sun sets, I'm gonna show you guys how bright they really are. And basically, uh, these are the um, these are the JDM Onstars. Um, lights so it's really freaking bright it's super bright you can't really tell because it's outside but before the stock lights were kind of oranges an uh, orange tint so and it didn't really go nothing with the side lights uh, I don't know the correct term of those of uh, this part so these are white but the stock ones were orange like it was an orange tint but these are clear uh, we're going to do the high beams. Now, these are the high beams we're going to take out. So, I'm going to show you the high beams from a distance, and then you're going to see it, and then we're going to swap it out. So, Zion, just show them, show them the high beams real quick. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah. So, here's how the high beams look. These are stock. So, as you guys can see the high beams, the high beams are basically the same colors as the original lights were. So, you can see the white, and you can see the, the, orange, the gold. Let me just bring it over here. So, you guys can kind of see it. It's kind of bright outside, but... Both lights are on. These are the new lights, and these are the stock. And the stock are ugly shit. The orange tint. So I'm gonna have a Zon hold it real quick, and then um, we're gonna swap it out. All right. So we're gonna take this one, and we're gonna take these ones out. So to, in order to take these out, you're gonna click this little button right here. You're gonna push down, and then right, what you could do is like this too. So I'm gonna click this. Let me see where is that. Oh, here we go. That's the button right here. And then I'm, I'm gonna pull up because I had to put it on upside down. And this is the little clamp. This is what we're gonna plug this part from the new one into that. So we're gonna take this one out. We're gonna twist it. You heard that clink? And then you pull it once you twist it. And these are the original. Um, High beams compared to the new ones, major, major difference. This thing we had no airflow and it's hot as shit. So we're gonna put this one in. You're gonna match these three pump, these three sides to go exactly into these three sides in there. So I'm gonna put it in here. It's kind of, let me see, put my hand in here. Try not to have a block too much. So we're gonna put it in here. Make sure you get it. And then once it's in, you're gonna twist. Twist it, and once it's firm in, all you gotta do is, and on here, I didn't explain it earlier, you're gonna see a plus and minus symbol. So basically, this little part is going to go right in here. So that's how you know you're gonna do it right, because if you try to do this side, it won't go all the way, because that thing is blocking. So you wanna swip it like this, and you're gonna hear a clamp. It's good, it's in. And what you could do, like a lot of people do, they zip tie these, but I'm not really tripping over these right now. So we're going to go on the other side and get those ones. So we're going to get the original LED. I'll let you go. Probably go that way. And then I'm going to push right here. You hear that clamp? And once you hear the clamp, we're going to pull up. I'm just going to do it over here. Pull up. So pull. All right. So we take that away. 
twist this one, the opposite way. And then once you hear it, once you get a twist, and then you pull it out. Big difference. Big, big difference. So, I'm going to put this back in. Like I said, get to make sure the three corners match exactly how the outlook is here. And then we're going to put it in here. So the end, I'm going to twist. Uh, twist is secure. And then you're going to make sure you lock it in. Make sure these two parts are going the same direction. You're going to hear a clamp. Boom. Then, there you go. So, I took the two high beams out. These were the stock ones, which are shit. I took them out. Now, we're going to go a far distance on. And then I'm going to turn the high beams on. Yep. Ooh, damn. Those are way brighter. Oh my god. So those are way brighter. Way, way oh shit. Yeah, god damn. So what I'm gonna do is y'all, I'm gonna have Zion scoot back a little bit and I'm gonna come in halfway so you guys can kinda see more the the the, the Amazing with the high beams on. Let me take a picture with the high beams. 